Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to go on a bit of a gator hunt. It's been a while since we've done one of these. I'm still currently recovering from the uh, Rona, so if I still sound a little bit different, that is why. But we are uh, getting better slowly, day by day. However, I did uh, spot a level 9 gator over here, so what we're going to do probably is we're going to show a little bit of hunting around and then at the end of the video we will try to take this guy out and I've decided that I want to take it out with the 44 Magnum just to make it a little bit more interesting so that should be quite a bit of fun but I guess without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the hunt first and then we will get to taking this level 9 down well that seems to be one of the best caters that we have seen ever since we started this video so we might as well try to get that thing down. It's going to be definitely kind of difficult with it running. I'm just going to hope that we can hit one of these. Yeah, there's no way we're getting that thing down. I kind of expected that, but that is the uh, best thing that we've seen so far. So I wanted to at least try and get a shot into it. Just have not had too much luck finding good gators. Although... We could try to take down this 7 as well, I guess. Just see if we can get something on the ground. And that one looked to be a pretty good shot. And it also looks like there is another 7 behind it. However, we will not bother with that one. However, this guy is looking like a decent target. And we also ended up getting that one as well. Honestly, we're starting to hit some pretty decent shots. I'm pretty confident in making these shots now. Honestly, it's not too difficult once you get a hang of kind of the angles to take. And we even got that one right there. That is honestly just crazy. I did not expect to get a third one. That was definitely the craziest shot yet. And uh, can we make it a fourth? No, he ended up going up on a hill. Yeah, that's going to be the end of that streak there. But here is the very first one, I believe. Got a little middle neck shot as it was running away. Here is the second guy right here. Another, wow, actually, that was a vertebrae shot. Wow. Did not think that we hit vertebrae on that. But I suppose that also does the trick as well. Vertebrae double lung takes him down pretty quickly also. And last but not least, we got this little guy right here, the third level 7. And this is uh, the second highest scoring one, I believe. That last one ended up being the best at 417. This guy's just a 403. But we did manage to get lower neck on him, so a little bit of a better shot as well. So I found a max weight estimate track, and I'm really hoping that it's going to be the one that just called from over here. It has been uh, quite a long time since I've seen any good gators, so... It would be much appreciated if this guy ended up being a decent one. But I just don't know where it went. When I got onto the server, he had that track right there, but I'm pretty sure it's relatively old. And yeah, it's just a level 6 right there. So that's definitely not the same one. Now that's the one difficult thing about gator hunting, is it can be very difficult in multiplayer, because some of these tracks could be quite old, and the gators will have just not even been close to the area that you found the track in. This one definitely shows that it was here. However, I don't see it anywhere, so I'm guessing that it got spooked off before I was in the server, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh my gosh, there we go. That is a rare gator. I think that's a piebald one, but I can't quite tell. That is super awesome. So we finally found something good. It has been a long, long hour, well, hour long hunt at this point. And this is the first good thing that we found. That is super awesome. Now we just got to figure out how we can get into a good position to actually take this thing out. But that is a beautiful gator. Really good looking gator. I want to take this out with the 44 Magnum just to uh, kind of match it up with that uh, level 9 that we're going to take out at the end of the video. But uh, we'll see. This is in multiplayer, so at the same time, I think I might just play it safe and get this thing on the ground. It is a level 5, so if we mess up, I'll probably just shoot it a few times to get it down. I don't really care about getting the metal. It's mainly just that uh, piebald uh, morph that I want on it. There it is. Okay, so honestly, this is a pretty good spot right here. I think we should be able to get a really good angle. And you know what? The more I look at this thing, the more it might even be albino. 
it's so difficult to tell until you get actually close enough to uh, distinguish whether or not it has some spots on it or not. This could be the very high white version of the piebald, or it might be an albino. It's very difficult to tell. Oh yeah, that's piebald. Definitely a piebald. Now we just gotta make sure we can get a solid shot onto this guy. Look at that beautiful thing. It's a good looking gator. And we got it. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Well, that is quite the return to gator hunting. Super excited about that. And I think this might be... It's definitely the high white piebald variation. But I think this might be the second one. There is two different variations from what I've been able to determine. And I'm not exactly sure which one this is. But that's really cool. It definitely looks a little bit different than the one I've got. It's got a little bit more green on it. Definitely a pretty sweet trophy. And I'd say that's a pretty great return to uh, gator hunting here on Mississippi Acres. Now, I think on that note, since we just got ourselves, well, basically what I came out here for, just looking for a rare or a diamond, I think it's about time we go take a look at that level 9 and see if that guy will end up making diamonds. So let's just jump over to that. Well, that level 9 should be somewhere around here. I don't exactly know its exact location. Uh, that is a level 5. I just remember seeing it run this way when I uh, first spotted it and then it went into the water. I reset the time so it should be back here. Now, the question is where because I have absolutely no idea where it came from. Alright, so I am almost positive this has to be our level 9 right here. I could not see it being anything else. Unfortunately, I can't spot it at the moment. But it does appear to be a gator. I'm assuming that's going to be our level 9. It's in the exact same spot that the 9 was. So we're just going to prone down and kind of get as close as we can. And hopefully we'll be able to take a good shot on this guy and get him in the neck. Well, it was him. And he did uh, spook into the water. So yeah, it's great. Exactly uh, what I expected to happen though, to be honest. This seems to be how most of the gator hunts go. Well, back to the uh, outpost to change the time for another go, I guess. Okay, so there he is once again. Uh, this time he seems to be in a much better spot. And he's actually moving closer to us, which is even better. Hopefully we can get a good shot on this guy. He's actually giving us a decent angle right now. We just gotta make sure that he doesn't end up spooking off before we get close enough to actually take the shot. Okay, so this thing is actually a lot closer than I thought. It's like 35 meters away. That is way closer than I intended to get, but you know what? That's actually probably going to be perfect. Oh, did he end up spooking? How did he end up spooking? Well, I honestly don't even know what to say there. I didn't really move up too close. I just moved to this bush right here, completely prone, and he's still spooked. Well, this is going to be much uh, more annoying and harder than I thought it would be, which uh, seems to be just how gators are. Okay, so this guy is incredibly close now. I just need to get to a spot where we're hidden and hopefully then we can stand up and take this guy down. He's uh, definitely within range now, I'd say. And honestly, we might have to take him right now. I think we got it. Yeah, that should be good. Let's go. We finally got ourselves that level 9 legendary gator. Let's uh, hope this guy ends up being a decent one. I really hope it makes diamond. It would be quite sad if it trolled after all this. And of course it did. Because why else? What else would it be? 482.60. Well, that's quite sad. That was a long, uh, long hunt for a troll gator. Very, very unfortunate. I mean, I guess on the bright side, at least we got a really good shot with the 44 flat nose hard case bullet or hard cast bullet and got it right through the neck. Almost went completely through the thing, to be honest. But uh, definitely not quite what we were hoping that to end with. But it is what it is. We will uh, find more in the future, hopefully. All right, so let's get a very close look at the faces of these things and see if we can notice really anything. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of differences. 
Okay, so this is 100% a brand new pattern that we have not shot personally. That is super awesome. So we now have both versions of the high white piebald. Now we just need to find some of the ones that are in between. I don't have either of the ones that look like camo, and I'd really like to get them to add to the collection. But uh, this is definitely a good uh, start getting the other high white variation. And I definitely think this looks a little bit better than those two super low white versions. And uh, I think instead we will just put one of the low white versions over here since we have our albino on the other side. So yeah, there is our other low white piebald. This is the 380 scoring one, so it's just going to chill there across from our albino. In fact, we'll probably get them in the exact same pose as well, just so that it kind of matches. But I think that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video, and also let me know what you guys would like to see in future uploads. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!